It's time we start paying more attention to the starting point guard of the New Orleans Pelicans for the next 5-10 to 10 years. That's Dyson Daniels and today we're going to be discussing how he is bound to break out for next upcoming NBA season. I'm coming in with a lot of confidence this year and um, coaches have confidence in me and you know, I've been putting the work in so you know, I'm confident ready to go out there and show it now. So, before we start rambling on about how good of a prospect Dyson Daniels really is, let's just quickly go over the New Orleans Pelicans defensive unit for this upcoming NBA season. We'll begin this with Herb Jones. He was signed on a 54-year, four-year deal, which is one of the steals of this free agency. He's someone who can guard positions one through five and do a hell of a job. He gets in passing lanes, he blocks shots, he gets steals. Defensively, he's a perfect prospect. I can only imagine for years to come, We've seen how good of an off-the-ball player Trey Murphy can be, and with Dyson Daniels now going to get minutes for this New Orleans Pelicans team, getting to the rim, opening up so many open looks for his teammates, like Trey Murphy, being an already gifted playmaker, I think if Dyson Daniels is to start, Trey will honestly average 5-6 to six more points per game, and he is definitely going to be looked at as one of the breakout stars if he isn't already. If I'm the New Orleans Pelicans GM, or even if I'm a fan, and I look at Jose Alvarado, Kira Lewis, are they my long-term guards for the future? They're undersized 6'2 to 6'1 guards. Jose's shown flashes on the defensive end. In fact, he's a very good defender, but Kira Lewis, he hasn't shown all too much, and he hasn't really been healthy. I would certainly be giving the keys to Dyson and saying, this is your team, here's the green light, do what you do, defend at a high level, get your teammates involved at a high level, Score when you have to, obviously he's on a score first guard right now, and he doesn't have that urgency to get to the basket as much as he probably could. How can you expect something out of someone if you don't give them the keys and you don't let them rock out every single night? Look, to sum it up, he's got elite athleticism. He utilizes that extremely well on the defensive end in a multitude of different ways, whether that's blocking shots, getting in passing lanes, rotating on help side defense, and either at the rim when he's blocking shots like I said, or he's taken the ball from a bad pass. He's been great defensively as a rookie, and you would expect he would do that as a sophomore as well. Will he be like another Dante Exum, or will he live up and be like a Lonzo Ball-esque player? For now, it's been Marks from the Benchmob. We've enjoyed having you guys on the channel today. For now, take care guys.